wow, this is interesting. My guys, good morning everyone there. I hope you are doing fine. It's another day here in paradise. I want to give you maybe one clip, topic, content that you might digest. Before, because you know today we start the week and uh, tomorrow is the second day of the week. You know what I mean, biblically. So, <clears throat> I had a great day today and uh, I, I, I still feel I need to talk more about uh, the, the need to be in Kenya and uh, why, how come I have not experienced blackout since I came here. The internet is superb, it's 4G, 5G network, upstream, downstream, it's sufficient, it's efficient. You really encounter disruptions. These are the good signs that shows the country is moving forward, is growing in a direct uh, way, and uh, the banking infrastructure is there. You can go to any room in bank ATM and you withdraw money internationally or locally, and they have a flexibility of do you want to put money in the bank in forms of dollars, in forms of um, local currencies, in form of these European currencies. So I think uh, Kenya is, is, is becoming one of the best destinations for diasporians or the people who have stayed outside like me and you want to come back here and see what you can do. Actually, I, I really enjoyed being here. The food is so delicious, it's organic foods, less fertilizer, more organic manure farming, rotational crop, rotational methods. Those are the types of the methods they use. Milk is direct from the cow fresh. So it's organic, it is feeding from the glass, it's not fed with the GMOs and all that kind of. These are some of the things that makes Kenya one of the greatest places where you can settle. And uh, the house accommodation is not expensive as such unless you're going to extreme areas. But in moderate areas in the Eastlands, like Mbakasi and uh, Don Homes, Kitengela, Kikuyu, Dika Road, some part of is is affordable. You can get a a, a two bedroom house for approximately maybe let's say three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, yeah, or two hundred dollars. You can get a good house with electricity, gate, security, CCTV cameras, and Wi-Fi, water and electricity all included. That is something you cannot do in a, a place like New York or Manhattan or Brooklyn or California. So, guys, you need to find a way of getting to this market. It's unstoppable. And uh, I would say I have traveled a lot in Kenya. And uh, I have seen it all and what it is. And uh, I, I don't think... I need to hold this information with myself. I need to let it go so that people can understand. They can know what to do. If they're interested, they can pack their bags and fly here. And uh, I do believe crime rate is contained so far. And uh, rarely somebody can snatch a, a bag, can take away anything petty, theft in Kenya so far is, is something minimized the road network is efficient from point a to point b you can be able to travel easily loads are well labeled people are fast they're efficient they're reliable they speak english fluently you don't encounter a lot of problems when you're trying to explain or define your destination or something where you're heading to such kind of things you know they are properly addressed so I, I I do believe it's important for you to prefer coming to Kenya and uh, don't go to start your life in upmarket areas come to the middle class areas the, the so-called apartment blocks you know it's affordable the food in the market is cheap you can afford almost everything and uh, I think uh, that is sufficient information that actually will 
brain transformation and adaptability anyway guys have a great time enjoy subscribe to the channel give me those views and subscribe make a comment there concerning what i'm trying to explain to you and i'll be glad have a good evening bye